Hello everybody. Uh, it is Little Wendy out here. Sorry for the audio. I uh, just wanted to show you a little project I have going on. Um, I bought it probably back in November of 2020. Uh, I will be working on it a little bit more. I did have another project um, I bought about a year ago, but decided not to follow through that with it because it was, I wanted something a little more practical. Uh, let me show you what I got going on. Now, this is the project I have going on right now. This is a 1999 Dodge Ram Maxi Wagon. Uh, it's a 3500. Uh, it's actually really good shape. It was a little bit of history of the thing. It was a, I believe the owner said it was a church bus first, and then it was sold to uh, a boys' correction facility, I believe it was. And they used that for a couple years. It came from Missouri, so actually the body's actually really, really good shape. There's hardly any rust on it. Rust, I mean, on the, on the very bottom, just surface rust. And the very top, there's surface rust. So it's actually not bad at all. Let's do a quick tour behind as well. It's very, very good shape. It does need a new paint job, though. Definitely, because it's got some surface rust on the top and some chips, which is notorious uh, for the vans of this year. I'm going to take a trip on the inside to show you what the inside looks like. Now, this was a 15-passenger van, so let's take a look in here. Sorry for the little bit of the mess. <laughs> We're actually uh, putting all the camping stuff in here right now. Uh, a couple things we got at Walmart and stuff to... Um, make this a camper. We will be get in here real quick. Uh, we will be using this as a camper for now, uh, but eventually, in a couple years, probably two years after we get everything settled, uh, we get our finances settled and everything, we will be probably living in this for a year. That's my goal: is to live in this for one full year. So if we like it, uh, if we don't like the whole van life thing and traveling and whatnot, which I, I doubt we won't. Uh, we will probably just using this as a camper and getting a uh, a regular apartment or looking for a a house. Um, so it is, I believe, uh, I know it's a V8. It is a 5.9 liter. So the inside right now, the way it is, I didn't buy it uh, as a passenger fan. I actually bought it halfway converted. It does have uh, 100 watts of solar on the top for a solar panel, and it does have a maxi fan right there. The previous owner was using this as a camper van, pretty much a weekend camper van. Uh, so they did take out uh, the seats and everything. They put uh, Reflectix on the window. They did build this bed platform, and it does have storage here and underneath the bed as well with a garage. And it doesn't have batteries or anything, but it's easy. I can definitely put a battery box and everything here. Here's this cord. They used a, I believe it was a jacker they used to power the the inside of the the van. Uh, it did need a little bit of work when I got it, uh, and the mechanical-wise... Um, right now it is, needs some tie rods and a ball joint and everything, which, you know, I'm getting that done here uh, this month. Uh, and it did have a bad water pump, which I did get that and it fixed. And I did get uh, new brakes put on as well. Other than that, it runs great. It's a great, great vehicle. Uh, it only had 70,000 miles on it when I got it, which is really good for a... Uh, 1999 vehicle uh, they'll be doing some upgrades on it obviously i'll put a rear backup camera on it uh, just because it is such a long vehicle it's difficult to see where you are parking and they put this really cool like i don't know if you can see it how well i can see it but it, it's cloth they put on the very top it's got mountains and trees and stuff it's pretty cool i do enjoy that a lot that was definitely one of the best selling points right there that's pretty cool i don't know where they got that but that is neat um, I will be re-insulating it. I'll probably put wool as the as the um, insulation in here. I'll probably be putting more solar on the top. Uh, probably 300 watts I'll do with some batteries. This rug, actually, this rug didn't come with it. We actually put this rug in there. Uh did put a bed it does have for a bed it did come with memory foam four inches of memory foam which is pretty cool we have not slept in this yet 
Uh, even though here in the south it is really warm, uh, it's 50 degrees out right now, but with the wind it is pretty cold. So uh, we will be probably camping in this, I'm going to say probably springtime when it warms up a little bit uh, and the ground is a little more or a little more solid. Uh, right now it has been raining a little bit, so the ground is a little bit mushy. Um, so I do want to get the tie rods and stuff like that before I really use it as a um, as a camper van, obviously, because if I'm going off road, it's not a very good thing to do. I will be getting rid of my truck, uh, and I'll be using this as my main daily driver because I do have payments on my truck, but I will be selling that. Um, so I want that the payments anymore on insurance, and it'll be a lot cheaper because this thing will be paid off. Um, I only paid forty hundred for this thing, which is really really good. Now, when I first moved down here, uh, within the first probably few months, I ended up looking, uh, I wanted a camper van, I wanted to convert it so I can travel a little bit, uh, but situations have changed and stuff, and I wanted something that I can actually be able to drive a little bit uh, in different areas, because ambulances are really wide and they're big, and I want to be able to move around a little bit easier, not that there's anything wrong with ambulance, will I probably have an ambulance again? Absolutely. So this is a pretty good starter van for right now. I do love this van. I probably will have this thing for quite some time. I did end up selling the ambulance as of, was it January now? I, uh, last month I did, uh, January. Uh, this is February now. Uh, to somebody actually in New York, and she's actually gonna take it and convert it to a camper van herself, which is great. That's what I wanted to do to it. It did need a little bit of work. Brakes are fine. I put brand new tires on it. I put a new alternator. Uh, it did need some. Um, it did need a little bit of work on the steering, but that was it. Uh, so it was a pretty good, pretty good deal for her. And with that money, I bought this van. Uh, like I said, I bought this thing for forty eight hundred, and I only plan on eventually I plan on putting a little bit more work into this thing, and then uh, start traveling for a little bit. We're going to camp in this for a little bit, and then we will be. Pretty much what I'd like to do is go travel um, in the summertime to do north, and in the wintertime I want to travel a little bit more to the south, go to Texas, go to Arizona, probably a little bit of California, Florida obviously. So uh, this thing will have definitely a lot of miles in it, but it's only got 70,000 right now, so um, I'm not too worried about putting too many miles on this thing right now. The transmission is perfect. It has been sitting for, it was sitting for a little bit, so like I said, did need a little bit of work. Uh, but not much at all. Um, so yeah, that's where I am right now. And uh, if you want to follow along what I'm going to do this thing, and if you want to see a little bit more of what's going on, what, and a little bit of our travels, and where we go in the south and north, uh, please, I, I uh, encourage you to subscribe and like the video. And if you have a camper van yourself, or want a camper van, uh, I know there's a low roof right here, uh, and the ambulance was a little bit high roof. I was able to stand up in the ambulance. This one, I'm not, uh, I can't stand up in at all, so I'll be crawling around quite a bit. If you have a camper van, or, or you're looking to get up a camper van, tell me what you recommend for a camper van. I know a lot of people do the transit vans, which are pretty cool, and eventually probably I'll get a, trans, a transit van or a Mercedes, um, a Sprinter, or one of the Dodge ones, the, um, the, the Freightliners, I believe they are. I can't remember if they are ProMasters, I think, I think it's ProMaster. Um, write down in the comments what kind of camper van you have, or if there's any areas that are really cool, that are unknown, that people would love to travel to, and you want us to travel to, and just kind of view, because there's a lot of hidden places here in the U.S. Um, that uh, are unknown. We actually went to, uh, we went to Eureka Springs, Arkansas in... Uh, October and that was a really cool experience and uh, that was really it's a very small town and just the shops and the way the town was laid out was really really cool and the food is really great too um, yeah comment below and uh, we'll talk to you later thank you